technology. For more updates and details, please do like, share and subscribe. Hello friends, welcome to this tutorial on MS Excel for the beginners. We are Team Inclusive Globe Technology and I am Oindrila Basu. In the previous tutorial, we learnt about Autofit Row Height and Autofit Column Width. And today we are going to learn how to resize the row height and column width manually through screen reader NVDA. Let us consider a marks list table containing name of the students, their acquired marks in two subjects, suppose maths and physics and their total. Let us see in the application. Name of the students dropped to 1, maths D1, physics C1, total marks overflowing D1, Rima Senna 2, 80 B2, 70 C2, 150 D2, Minakshi Chatterjee dropped to 3, 100 B3, 90 C3, 190 D3, I am selecting the entire table by Ctrl A. A one name of the students through D3 190 selected row 1 through 3 column 1. I will go to the same path that I have already used for the auto fit options. That is on the home tab under cells grouping and inside the format option. First I am pressing Alt H for the home tab. Ribbon tabs tab control expanded home tab selected alt comma h2 of 9. Now I'm pressing tab home grouping clipboard grouping paste split button of a cut button copies format office font font for decrease font bold italic underline borders fill color font format align middle bottom or in align left centered align right decrease it increase it wrap tab merge and format number four home grouping and percent comma style increase as it decrease decibel format styles grouping format as tab cell styles button collapse cells grouping insert split button collapse tab cells comma rows comma columns or sheets to your work Book dot alt comma h comma i cells grouping delete split button collapsed delete cells comma format collapsed change the row height or column width comma organize sheets comma or protect or hide cells dot alt comma h comma o format option now I'm pressing enter cell size grouping row height dot 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 alt comma h comma o comma h pressing enter on the row height option row height dialog row height colon edit alt plus r blank now we are in the row height dialog box. We can also get this dialog box by Alt H O H. Let's see the dialog controls first. I am pressing tab. OK button. Cancel button. Row height colon. Edit Alt plus R blank. This edit box serves two functions. It shows the row height of the selected row or rows. And it receives a number to reset the row height. First we will see how to reset the row with a new number. Suppose we want to set the new row height to 20. Then we have to write 20 in this edit box. 2, 0. And then press enter or OK. OK button. Tutorial 5 Manual Resizing Dash Excel Sheet 1 Table A 1 Name of the Students through D3 190 Selected Row 1 through 3 Column 1 To check the row heights of the selected rows, we have to open the row height dialog box again by Alt H O H. Ribbon Tabs Tab Cover Cell Size Row Height Dialog Row Height Colon Edit Alt Plus R Blank I am pressing down arrow to check the selected row height. 20 it is showing the row height that we have set just now. Now, if we want to reset the row height again to 30, then we have to replace the number 20 by the number 30 in the edit box. And we'll press enter. This is the process to reset the row height manually and as a result, all the rows have been distributed evenly. To reset the column width manually, we have to choose the same path that is on the home tab under cells grouping and inside the format option. I am pressing the shortcut key Alt H O for the format option. Ribbon tabs the cell size grouping row height dot 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 alt comma h comma o comma h. I will move to the third option that is column width by pressing down arrow. 
auto fit row height alt comma h comma o column width dot 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 alt comma h comma o comma w I'm pressing enter column width dialog column width colon edit alt plus c blank so we are in the column width dialog box we can also get this dialog box by the shortcut key alt h o w let's see the dialog controls first I am pressing tab ok button cancel button column width colon edit alt plus c blank it is exactly same as row height dialog box suppose we want to reset all the column widths of this table to 100 then we have to write the number 100 in this edit box and then press enter or ok 1 0 0 Tutorial 5 Manual Resizing Dash Excel Sheet 1 Table and 1 Name of the Students through D3 190 Selected Row 1 through 3 Column 1 Let's check the new column width. I'm pressing Alt H O W for the Column Width dialog box. Ribbon Tab Tab Control Us Column Width Dialog Column Width Colon Edit Alt Plus C Blank Now to check the column width, I'm pressing Down Arrow 100 it is showing the column width that we have set just now. So this is the process of resizing the column width manually and as a result all the columns of this table have been distributed evenly. Let's see the table now. Name of the students are 1. Maths D1. Physics C1. Total Marks D1. Rima Senna 2. AT B2. 70 C2. 150 D2. Minakshi Chatterjee 3, 100 B3, 90 C3, 190 D3. Here we have to remember that we can set the row height between 0 to 409 and we can set the column width between 0 to 255. We will discuss these concepts in depth in our next tutorial. At the end of this tutorial, I am going to list up salient shortcut keys that we have learned in this tutorial. To view and reset the row height manually, Alt H O H. To view and reset the column width manually, Alt H O W. This is all about for today. If you have any query then email us. Our mail id is info at inclusiveglobe.com. If you feel this tutorial is informative, please share it to your friends. You can also get the previous tutorial links in the description and we are eagerly 